hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video we'll look at how we can install Kali Linux 2024.4 which is the late, latest version and we'll be installing this on a Windows 10 machine using VMware workstation and we'll be using the pre-configured image now we'll begin by doing the download so open a browser and search for Kali Linux download and then we'll go to Kali.org click on that link once you get to the site you see we have we have two options here installer images and uh, virtual machines so this uh, these are pre-built images and this is what we want with everything uh, pre-configured for us as far as the settings so click on this and here you have options for whatever hypervisor you're using VirtualBox, VMware, Hyper-V since we're installing this on VMware we'll click on this option so click on this to download now it's a big file could take a while to download I already did the download and I have the file already so I'm gonna minimize this let's go to the folder where I have the file so this is what you'll get so you'll get a zipped file and and, uh, and as you can see the size is about 3.4 GB you'll need to unzip or unpack this file so you'll need like 7 zip or whatever tool you have so right click it and extract here once you do that you get a folder that looks like this right here if you open the folder you see that you have quite a few files in here so let's open let's go to VM workstation as you can see this is a workstation pro 17 now normally you do like a create a new virtual machine but in our case since it's already pre-configured as far as the settings we'll use this option open a virtual machine and then you na navigate to where you have that extracted folder so I'll go to where I have that folder and this is it right here 2024.4 I'll click on it and So this is the file right here, .vmx. I'll select it, I'll click open. And it should list it here. So this is the virtual machine. If you needed to make any settings changes, you can right click settings. And we, they already did the settings for us for as far as the memory, your 2 GB processor for disk size network adapter I can change mine I normally use bridged adapter then I'm gonna leave the defaults for everything else I click OK now I'm gonna go ahead and power on the virtual machine right click power start up guest and now it's booting up we are at the login screen so the username is gonna be Kali the password is also going to be Kali. Click on login. And we are logged in. We can open the terminal here. Let's increase the size. Let's change the font size to say 16. Apply, OK. And we can check the version. Uh, it's the uh, OS release. So. And as you can see, the version is 2024.4. You can check if we have a valid IP. We have a valid IP. And we should have internet access. If we open Firefox. Um, Go to YouTube and as you can see we have internet access so that's it for this video that's how you can quickly install Kali Linux on your Windows 10 machine using VM or workstation I hope this information has been helpful I'll catch you in my next video thanks bye